Okay, folks, I gotta ask this question. Are you a briner or are you an injector? And if for those of you guys that live on the edge, do you brine and inject? Let's get it. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna show you guys what to do and how to come up, come up with like a, a great tasting and juicy, you know, turkey, right? There's a lot of science goes behind this, so I'm gonna get right into it. As you can see, we got some ingredients right here. And don't forget, I got that new website, folks. It's www.smokingandgrillingwithab, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. That way you can get the printable recipe and you can like look for the rest of your Thanksgiving, you know, favorites. Now, I'm gonna show you, we are gonna do it like this. Let's go ahead and address this elephant in the room. This right here, I got a big bucket, right? You gotta get a bucket big enough. Usually they come, you know, five gallons or whatever, but you wanna get yourself something that's big enough to put your turkey in, right? Because listen, we gotta have a big bucket. This is something I wish I would've thought about. I can't take credit for this. Everybody now is telling me like, hey, get yourself one of them big zipper bags. So I got myself one. We're gonna put this in the inside. We're gonna pour our brine after we make it inside of this. And then we're gonna store it in. People say put it in a refrigerator, but I'm gonna be honest with you. With the holidays coming, hey, who got this kind of space? Okay, so look, let's go ahead and get it started, right? Look, there's some science to this. I tell you, and it's gonna be all in the salt right here and the cold water and the overnight. Now, I'm gonna say it this way. Let's just go ahead and put the, you know, fill this up with some water. Now we gotta have enough water to fill this up, right? So let's bring this over here. Let me fill this up. Okay, folks, so look, like I say, this is very, very simple. You know what I mean? Uh, we gonna let the ingredients do the work. I've already gotten this, you know, boiling, right? Now this is the way I do it. You guys follow me. Look, I'm gonna take the salt and I got it. It's a lot of salt, but I'm gonna go ahead and address that now and answer them questions. No, you do not have, you do not taste it. It's not gonna be salty. And I'm gonna take my brown sugar and put that in there too. All right, so if you look down in there, look, you can see the salt and then I put that, you know, the brown sugar on top, right? So what I'm gonna do is while it's boiling, I'm gonna keep, you know, moving this back and forth because what we want this to do is to completely dissolve, right? So if you just keep moving it back, you keep that high, you know, heat on there, I promise you, it's gonna dissolve. It ain't gonna take long, so it's probably gotta come back up to a boil. Now with the rest of the ingredients, once this dissolves, right, we just go ahead and put them all in there. This is dry, you guys can use fresh bay leaf, you can do that. You know, and then we got these ingredients and we got peppercorn. I don't need to grind this down or nothing like that, we'll just put that in there. Now I want you to pay attention, I'm gonna take this, and I'm using a lemon, why? Because I didn't have an orange and it really doesn't make a difference, but we want that citrus in there. You know what I mean, that citrus taste. So I'll just leave these like this. You cut them how you wanna cut them. Okay, so now let's talk about why we brine. It's for the flavor that it goes, you know, that puts in, that infuses inside of the meat. And listen, what it does is it creates it to, it makes it where it's like super juicy. If you ask me, I don't do, well, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't do nothing, I'm a briner. You know what I mean? Every now and then I'll brine and inject. You know what I mean? If I were trying to achieve a certain type of uh, flavor. You know what I mean? But if we just talking about just, you know, getting down, family involved, all of that, this right here do it. And then when you cut that breast, I promise you it's gonna be right. Now, when I do this turkey, listen, I'm gonna smoke it. Just wanna let you guys know. But this is gonna be key. You gotta get yourself one of these large bags and you gotta have something big enough. It's the whole process of keeping it cool, right? So. The way I'm told is when you put this together and you wanna have this cool too, I gotta say that. Listen, cause if you pour that and put that turkey in this hot right here, actually it'll start cooking. We want this to be room temperature or cold. I got enough bags of ice to make this cool once we do it. But what it does is it draws some of the moisture out and then after a while it goes back into the meat. You guys gotta trust me. I, hey, I live by it and that's, uh, that's the truth. Them facts, folks. So everything has been dissolved. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my bay leaves in my dry ingredients, and then I'm gonna go ahead and then add my herbs like this, right? You guys, man, it don't make no difference. You can tie them if you wanna do that. I even got our apparatus that you put these in the inside, it's got holes in there so you can keep up with it. But this is what we wanna do. We wanna get this flavor infused with, you know, our brine. Now we'll add our lemon, you know, slices, right? Again, don't forget, you can use orange also. More than likely, that's what I would've used, but I had a lemon in there screaming. I heard something knocking in the refrigerator, and when I opened it up, it was this lemon like, hey, hurry up and use me. All right, now that we got a boil, everything is in there. Hmm, that, hey, you guys gotta, man, this might be something that'll like just open up. If you got any sinus, whatever, this might just, this work. Maybe I need to bottle this up and sell it. All right, so listen, put the lid on the top. I'm gonna adjust it down to about a, a medium high, and I'm gonna let it cook for about 20 minutes. Okay, so look, it's been 20 minutes. 
I've just turned this off. We'll let the heat continue to do whatever it's gonna do. But 20 minutes on a boil, trust me, it done had everything that came out. And now we got ourselves a brownie, right? So now we're gonna take our, you know, Ziploc bag, excuse me, our zipper bag. You wanna open this up. Now, this is not the norm, right? This will do this five gallon bucket. You guys can look at my description box and on my website if you wanna know where to get these from. And I suggest, and I promise you, once you brine, you never go back, folks. I don't. So what I'm doing is, and listen, it, it'll help you because you only need to buy this one time. You're protecting the bucket, you're not contaminating it, and everything is, you know, inside of a bag. Now, I'm gonna leave this top off of here because we want this to cool. Listen to me, folks, we want this to cool. We want it to be room temperature, or if we got enough ice, we can go ahead and just shock it and get it down to like a cool temperature. We don't want to put the bird in that right there because when you do, what you're doing is you're starting the cooking process and that's what we don't want to do. We need this to be really like on the cold side. Room temperature does work, right? So let this cool. I'm gonna go ahead and expedite it just for the camera, you know, sake. put some ice in here, you know what I mean? And uh, then we move over to the next step. Okay, folks, I just tempt this. Listen, this is right here is right. It's actually a little bit on the cold side, right? So I use my little bag. I got a couple of little extra bags. You know, I mean, I don't know how big your, your freezer is, if it's making enough, but you just, or you can just wait. You don't even have to do that. You can just let this come down naturally, right? Now, let's just talk about the bird. I like my birds to be 12 to 14 pounds. This right here is right in the middle. This is 13, right? So I'm gonna take this. I've already taken out everything in the inside, the neck, the little giblets and liver and whatever that is in there. And then they got that little secret bag and all of that. I take all of that out. I save it for a later date, put it in a, a Ziploc bag and freeze it. You know why? Because when I need turkey stock, along with the rest of everything that else I have, I put that in there and that'll give it to me. Now, I'm gonna take this, cause this is my guy. He don't have to be padded dry or nothing like that. Don't worry about none of this extra skin, cause I'm gonna take that and do my trim tomorrow, right? Now let's talk about how long we gonna brine. I tell everybody we gonna brine for at least 12 hours. You know, I like to go 16 to 24, right? So we got that going, I got him in here. Right, I'm gonna set this here. Now I'm getting ready to pick this up and I'm getting ready to just pour it in there. What we wanna do is when you put it on, and you know, when you put the brine in there, we wanna completely submerge it, right? So let me go ahead and get my towels and all my napkins and all of that, because you know what's gonna happen. You know I'm gonna spill so. All right, so once you get it in the brine, right? You got it completely submerged. I add ice on there because you want to keep this cool. Like some people will tell you you want to put it in the refrigerator, but I've told you earlier, like how are you going to put that in the refrigerator? We really don't have that. And then some of us have like a refrigerator outside, you know what I mean, like in the garage or whatever. I mean, that'll work if it's not, if it's not filled. But for me, I do it like this, right? Then I put my top on it. Now you put this somewhere, you know, like cool in your garage and you got no problem. Okay, to just give you a recap, listen, you saw the ingredients, and don't forget it's on my website. You guys can print it, you know, and just follow the instructions the way I did it. And you got the video to play along with it also, right? I wanna call this like part one, you know what I mean? Uh, but truly, this is just a brine. And actually, in actuality, this brine right here works just not only for turkey, any type of fowl that you, you know, you use. So of course you can do it with the chicken also. So listen, I'm getting ready to take this, go out in my garage, put that up in the corner right there. I already got the lid on it, so I don't have to worry about no contaminations. We finna go 24 hours and guess what folks? Then we finna smoke. Now, some of us that are lucky, they can, you know, be on the, I guess from west of Texas, you know what I mean? It's still getting cold, but some of us, we don't have to deal with snow, so we got a chance to like smoke them, right? So the next video you see, that'll be the turkey. I haven't decided what type of herbs, or I mean, what type of season I'm gonna put on it, but whatever I do, it's gonna be fire, folks. So check this out. If you've been following me for a minute, you know how I end all of my videos, you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to go put this in the garage. So guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.